Dr. Jay Madan, and she is an astrologer, a palmist, and uh, we're just really looking forward to hearing a little bit more how this can be incorporated into the HR workplace. So, if you just please introduce yourself and exactly how uh, you go about your day. <laughs> I'm Dr. Jay Madan, and um, I talk about people's present, past, and future, but it's more about guiding them rather than predicting for them. So, for me, astrology means guiding you. What are you supposed to do and are you on the right path? So is it happiness going together with you? That's what I make sure that people achieve. Right. Um, so in your opinion, um, what is happiness in the workplace? So, you know, it's just as if, are you in the bliss moment? Like if you're going towards the hill station and if there is a whiff of fresh air, you know you're going towards the right direction. So if you're not happy and joyful, that means definitely there's something wrong in your life. We are born to be happy. Okay, have you ever seen a newborn child sad? Yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> um, so in terms of incorporating this into the workplace, um, do you help guide people in, and employees on dealing with conflict situations, especially if you're looking at a face, facial expressions? You know, I could be saying something, but my face could say something completely different. Do you help employees and maybe bosses um, guide and guide them through that? Or? I do a lot of work for corporates in a way where I teach students and corporates about face reading and handwriting analysis also because you know it's so different that we don't look alike each other even if you're born with the same set of parents so there is something unique about each one of us with our mind our handwriting our facial expressions ourselves our thinking pattern if we can analyze and tap into other people's mindset there's so much ease for us we don't expect too much we know them pretty well and we feel a little superior feeling while dealing with them that's a great space to be in very positive. What would you say would be the most challenging thing in the workplace for employees? So the most challenging thing is expectations as I always say. We don't remember that it, for humans it's always said give and take. So you have to give first and then expect. But what we do is we expect first and we are willing to see whether we want to give or not. That's not how life works. You have to give first. Very interesting insight. Thank you so much. And last thing, can you please give us your best smile? <laughs> your gorgeous I think I think we have the best one here. Yes. So that's your job. Thank you so much. Pleasure.